Well, perhaps more than any other race on Montana's 2020 ballot, the contest for governor will shape the future of our state. Democrat Mike Cooney and Republican Greg Gianforte are the leading candidates to succeed and uh, outgoing Democratic Governor Steve Bullock. Starting today in a three-part series, MTN Chief Political Reporter Mike Dennison takes a closer look at where Cooney and Gianforte stand and how they differ on three major issues, the economy, education, and health care. Our first segment focuses on the economy, the state budget, and tax policy. Republican Congressman Greg Gianforte says the number one reason he's running for governor is to create more and better paying jobs in Montana. How will he do it? But it focuses on a top to bottom regulatory review uh, to keep regulations that protect public safety and the environment, but remove the excessive ones, lowering the tax burden across the board. He also wants more emphasis on trades education like carpenters, plumbers, machinists, streamlining of the permit process for mines and other natural resource projects, and a freeze in state spending. We've had massive growth in state spending over the last 10 years. Our strategy is very simple. Uh, I, I am very hopeful we will not have to make cuts. My goal is to hold spending flat. Gianforte also points to his business experience, building a software development firm in Bozeman from the ground up into an international company with more than 1,000 employees. Well, there is a huge contrast here between me and my opponent. I've spent my entire career uh, creating good paying jobs uh, mostly here in Montana. My opponent got a 0% rating from the Montana Chamber of Commerce. That rating for Cooney came in one legislative session when he was state senate president 13 years ago. He's now lieutenant governor under Bullock and says if people want to know what he'll do, they should look to how the state budget is surviving the COVID-19 pandemic. We are in a very strong position as a state. I mean, and we didn't get here by accident. In the last legislature, we worked with both Republicans and Democrats to cast, to, to, to build a budget that makes sense. Our, our, res, our reserves are, are full to capacity. Cooney says he would continue to partner with business on education for hard to fill jobs, but that his first priority would be to make sure Montanans are healthy in the wake of the pandemic. Because we cannot kickstart the economy again without healthy people. Once we do that, then we're going to continue to can open up the economy, getting people back on the job. That also includes ensuring people have access to affordable health care, he says, and preserving access to public lands, which drives Montana's outdoor economy. On natural resources, Cooney says he's always been supportive of traditional industries like mining and agriculture, but that Montana can't ignore the regional demand for cleaner power. So we can continue to manage our resources properly and continue to benefit off them, but we also need to be prepared to move into the new economy where, where we're seeing it shift. Finally, on tax policy, Gianforte wants to look at reducing taxes on property for homes and businesses and says Montana's state income tax is too high. If it's low enough, he says, it will attract more people to move here. We're competing with states that have a zero income tax rate. I think what we can do is incrementally bring that down um, and I think one of the ways we could do it is by inviting Montanans to come back home, uh, bring their jobs with them. Cooney says Montanans don't need any new taxes as they recover from the pandemic. But in the future, he'd like to consider raising the income tax rate on Montana's highest earners, those making more than $500,000 a year and with substantial capital gains. If you're making minimum wage in, this, in, in Montana right now, you're paying the same tax rate as someone making $500,000. How is that fair? To just say we're going to cut property taxes, we're going to cut this tax or cut that tax, every one of those cuts will have an impact on services to the people of Montana. So there you have it. Two very different approaches on how we should go forward in Montana. Tomorrow, we look at something closely intertwined with the economy, education. Some significant differences there as well. Reporting from Helena, Mike Dennison, MTN News. For more detail on this subject, you can look at Mike Dennison's coverage on the governor's race on our website, ktvh.com.